Yeah. And the internet buzzing. Really? A oh, yeah. And the New York media all over this Julius Randle situation. What happened? Because in the midst of this comeback, Randle scores, heads back down the floor, and gives the fans the thumbs down, explaining later after the game uh, that was uh, shut them mm, up. Uh, and he has been bothered and talked about in recent days fans getting on him, and he's had that response. No, I mean, <laughs> and, losing. And, okay, but is that, is that what you want to do when you're playing in New York and you're going back at the fans? I'm not, I'm not, go, I'm not honestly, I wouldn't do that anywhere. That in New York, I could be on Mars. I'm not, I'm not engaging in the, the 19,700 that's in, in Madison Square Garden. I'm engaging with the 12 dudes on that other team. Like, mentally, like, that's, I don't know if you guys did this. I never used to, when I was playing, I was like, I'm not doing talk radio if guys can call in. Because, <laughs> like, I'm not doing, like, these call-in shows with You're random scared. people. Yeah. That just, I'll do it with you, but I'm not doing it with these random call They still have the call-ins yeah. because that's what they're there for. They're there to cheer or to boo. There's only two things you can do as a yeah. fan. You can cheer or boo. And if you're not cheering, you're going to be booing. And so... I no, I, 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 yes, he shouldn't engage in the fans. He's too good a player. He's an NBA All Star. He was player like he was probably the most improved player last. He, year. he was. He and doesn't it, have to engage with 19,000 people that really are there. Just they really want to cheer him. They actually want to cheer him. But when they're not cheering and the Knicks are losing, everyone knows that that is a city that's going to boo their team. They're not going to cheer them on. They know that they, they're going to.